Hi, I'm David Deserto of Real Faith, and we're here on the red carpet at the New York premiere of Bill Murray's new film, St. Vincent, where we'll be speaking with the director and some of its stars. We're here with producer Peter Chernin. Uh, Mr. Chernin, you know, so many films these days are jaded and cynical. This is a film that really has a lot of heart. Uh, what attracted you to this project? Probably its heart. And what I felt about this was that it was genuinely moving, genuinely emotional, genuinely important, but also not pandering, not not sort of overly melodramatic and stuff like that. And that's what, you know, made me cry the first and every time I read it. Absolutely. Well, it has so many wonderful messages. For you, what's the message of the film? Look, I think the easy message is don't judge a book by its cover, right? But, but I think the message probably more is, is that goodness comes in different packages. Can you tell us a little bit about your character? Um, I play Oliver, and he, he his mother is uh, Maggie, who is Melissa McCarthy, and she she's working a lot, so then he then has to babysit him. And so he doesn't really like him at first, but, you know, he really, um, at the end, he becomes more of a man, and he really grows up. It kind of grows on each other. They teach each other yeah. a couple of really yeah, important messages. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a great babysitter to have. Yeah. <laughs> now, I have to ask you a question. Was Bill Murray intimidated to work with you? Uh, with me, no, I was more intimidated. You were intimidated yeah. to work with him? <laughs> Definitely. Well, he seems like a lot of fun. What was the best part about working with Bill Murray? Um, well, you know, he's really nice. In okay. um, under, you know, in Vincent, in, in St. Vin, he's kind of a kind of a mean, rough guy, but he's, uh, he's not really like that in real life, you know. He's definitely funny, but, you know, he's really nice. Was there one particular funny moment that you had with him that really stands out? Um, well, one time he stole a golf cart. And started driving it on the uh, the horse racetracks, and so the security was chasing him. And Naomi was in the back. It was really funny. We're here with Rayana Chelli, who plays um, Bill Murray's confidant and bartender, bartender. and an most important, bartender. most important, and an original Brooklyn boy. He is absolutely from what part? Bensonhurst. Bensonhurst. Yeah. Well, what's it like working with Bill Murray? It's great. As, as I've been saying down the line here, that uh, he's very generous as an actor meaning that he lets other actors do what they want to do. He, ri he riffs off you, you riff off him. Uh, so it's uh, sort of improvisational. Um, he makes the set very relaxed, very enjoyable. Uh, Did he, he tip well in the bar? He gave me $4,275 tip. <laughs> it was an amazing tip. It was all in singles. But, you know, I accepted the money and I went to Bermuda. How does it feel? A Brooklyn boy here at a star-studded screening at the Zigfield. Movie stars all over the place. How does it feel? Uh, it's kind of out of body, to be honest with you. Like it's not. I, this is not really happening. So I, I don't. It's, it, Has it, it all you, can't even, you can't even explain it. Um, to have shot the movie in Brooklyn, to be here at the Zigfield, it's kind of like it's a dream come true. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, for so many reasons, this is a, a very personal story for you. Is there one scene that was particularly special for you? Yeah, well, you know, Bill Murray dancing drunk in the bar um, was very special for me because uh, my wife's father used to do that dance. And to see that him do that dance made me, it was like tears in her eyes. Naomi, obviously the character of Vincent is not perfect. He has his flaws, one or two. Right. Um, but Daka manages to find a real nobility in him. Yeah. What did you see that was noble about the character? Well, I think we all have one or two flaws, if not more, as, it, as does Darker. Um, and um, I think that's why I, I, the, all, all of this collective group, they're all slightly off and odd in their own ways, and they sort of collide into one another and end up affecting each other in quite deep ways when you'd never normally expect them to, to uh, come into contact with each other. Um, I uh, I think she sees that he's underneath his grumpy ways as a gentleman. Hi. Hello, Ms. Murray, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Well, this is someone who needs no introduction. I have to ask you, how intimidating was it working with Jaden? Well, that's a good question. He's um, it's tough to work with kids sometimes because you're not really their parent and you can't you can't spank them and you can't send them to bed. You got to work <laughs> with them, and you've only got so many hours a day to work with them. So. You've got to get the work done, and he was uh, incredibly prepared. He was ready to work every single day, and 
wasn't a whiner, and he was very anxious to learn everything he could. I mean, every single day, he got better on the movie. You can't say that about many people. That's great. You know, you've had such an eclectic career. What's the secret to your ability to be so spontaneous and free in choosing roles? I just thought I'd let you stump me with that one. Uh, you know, I just, I just do the ones I like. You know, I don't have any plan, and that eliminates a whole lot. You know, that eliminates a whole lot of trouble. And I don't have an agent or a manager, so that eliminates a whole lot of scripts. <laughs> so the ones that fall to me are usually ones that uh, there was some sort of fate involved getting to me or fi finding me. And often, you know, when I like them, I'm, I'm, able, I'm free enough to say, yeah, I'm in. Because I don't, I don't have a lot of, I'm not burdened with a lot of other things. That's great. One last question. Um, if Vincent finally makes it up to the proverbial pearly gates and becomes an, uh, an official saint, what do you think he'd be a patron saint of? Uh, well, we've already got a patron saint of lost causes and hopeless <laughs> causes and so forth. I think uh, I think because he's a, a horse tra a horse track man, I think he'd be the patron saint of long shots. Well, that's a wrap from the red carpet. I'm David Deserto of Real Faith. Keep an eye out for all new episodes coming your way this November.